Hans. Yoroshiku! I train in the home economics room every day. If you get bored, come join me. But then, au revoir and sayonara! My, my, what a classy young man. <sighs> I know I kept it in my wallet. I didn't want to forget about it at any cost. Ah, there it is. I knew I put it in here. Good going, me. Dear, that key. Is it? Come on, dear, you know what it is. It's the key to our son's car. Such a nice boy coming to visit us has a way of making me feel young again. Been a while since I felt like putting the pedal to the metal. What age do I look, dear? Please don't. Why must you get into a car? Do you want me to end up all alone? Oh, um, I'm sorry for raising my voice. Did I scare you? Uh, our son, uh, remember what I told you? Uh, how he passed away. On his way home from work, he got into an accident. He was hit by a dump truck driver who was drunk on the job. Ow! Oh, please punch me. Just punch me for being so insensitive. With all my excitement, I forgot to consider how my wife might feel. Oh, I'm such a... such a... just moping around here. Since my wallet's been located, why don't we go out and have a nice dinner, dear? And this is for you. Consider it your reward for helping us look around.
skim through this chapter. And so... Marvelous. I'm looking forward. Here are my requests. I was hoping to go for another run after rehydrating. I believe you've done enough physical activity for one day. Any more and you'll hurt yourself. Fine. So, 
Were there any subjects you needed help with? Uh, the most basic method is writing them over and over again. But I get that's a tough way to stay motivated. That's why I reward myself with workout reps based on the number of new kanji I've learned. The more you study, the stronger you'll get. Pretty motivating, huh? In any case, I advise having a good workout ready to treat yourself with after a study session. It all comes down to making it a regular habit. Just a little each day really adds up. I wasn't going to say anything, but... Akihiko, working out isn't normally a reward for most people. On top of that, what good does it do to preach about long-term habits mere days before the exam? Hmm, I guess you have a point. In that case, how would you recommend cramming for it? It's not my usual style, but I would focus on memorizing material that is likely to be tested. If you give it your all, it shouldn't be too difficult. Easier than facing the enemy wholly unprepared, at least. Well, we can talk all night, but doing is where the magic happens. Here, let me give you some practice problems. You catch on quick! You immediately took what you learned and put it into practice. All you need now is some strength training and you'll be unstoppable. Once the exams are over, why don't we dive into Tartarus for a bit and get some workouts in? You never change. I'll need to continue keeping an eye on you to make sure you don't overdo it. <laughs> the more you study and the more you train, the better results you'll get. I look forward to seeing what you'll accomplish from here on. Let's call it here for today. I want to get some stretches in before heading to bed. Let's get on with today's lesson. Okay, then.
Yuka, your notes look so trendy. I kind of wasn't expecting that. Oh, no. These are Natsuki-chan's notes. She let me borrow them since I was out trapped in Tartarus. <laughs> she sure is. That said, there's actually quite a bit missing from these notes. Oh, you're right. This part just has the equation and no answer. And this page is full of doodles. And this part... Uh... Is that a drool stain? Hey, it may not be the best study material, but it's the thought that counts, right? Mm-hmm. I've been trying to think of a way to return the favor. Are you saying I should fill in any part she missed in her notes before giving them back? That sounds like a great idea! But it's going to be a lot of material. I wonder if I can finish it all. Then we'll help you out. It'll be a good review for us, too. <sighs> Thanks, you two. Here, let me see those notes. Oh... Chan's in for a real surprise when she sees this. I'm sure she will. I couldn't have done it without your help. Thanks, you two. Well, it certainly helped us study too, right? I'll make sure to give Natsuki Chan the notes back tomorrow. Good night.
And that's the summary of what happened on the night of the 7th. These shadows seem to be quite a bit more formidable than the ordinary ones. I see. So our enemies are growing stronger as well. Well, it's not all bad news. In fact, I called today's meeting because... Hold on. Before we go on, I'd like to ask Kirijo senpai something. Oh? I know I'm not the only one thinking this. So much has been happening lately. I feel like I've just been getting dragged along without really understanding anything. But now, I want answers. So I'm gonna ask you straight out. You've been hiding something from us, haven't you, Senpai? You're always acting like you don't know anything about the Dark Hour or Tartarus. But they're connected to that accident ten years ago, aren't they? What accident? Y yukari chan There was an explosion near our school and a lot of people died. It must have been big news back then. You know about it, don't you? Yes. Luckily, no students were injured, but something is off here. At the time of the incident, there were several unexplained absences. Seems like more than just a coincidence to me. What do you mean? Well, I dug up some old school records and found something interesting. Those students weren't just absent. They all suddenly collapsed and had to be sent to the hospital. Sounds familiar, doesn't it? Remember those girls who bullied Fuka? They had to be hospitalized, too. <sighs> I want an explanation. What really happened on the day of that accident? The Kirijo group built our school, so you have to know something. Tell me the truth. I wasn't trying to hide anything from you. It just never seemed relevant. But... It's okay. It's not your fault. All right, I'll tell you everything. Shadows have many mysterious abilities. Some research indicates they can even affect time and space. We think of them as our enemies, but what if we could somehow use them to our advantage? They could be a source of unimaginable power, couldn't they? What? Fourteen years ago, one man pursued that very line of thinking. He was the former leader of the Kirijo group, Koetsu Kirijo, my grandfather. My grandfather was obsessed with the shadows. He wanted to harness their power to create something extraordinary. Create something extraordinary? To that end, he assembled a research team and had them amass a number of shadows. He was collecting them? Damn, that's freaking crazy! But ten years ago, during the final stages of the project, there was an accident. And the experiment failed. They lost control of the shadow's power, altering the nature of the entire world. You can't mean... Yes. Tartarus and the Dark Hour. <sighs> According to the records, the accumulated mass of shadows split into several large ones that later dispersed. These are the shadows we've been encountering on nights when the moon is full. Maybe... That's why it's difficult to predict where they'll appear. Wait a minute. If what you said is true, then why did our school turn into Tartarus? Don't tell me. Is it because that's where they conducted the experiment? Yes. Then those students who were hospitalized... It's just as you fear. It was a highly populated area, and the Kirijo group had influence there. They could essentially do as they pleased. Port Island must have been the perfect location for them. So, yes, as you guessed, the experiment ten years ago was conducted at Gekokan High School. Just what are you trying to say here? So that's the whole purpose behind Seas? We were dragged into all this just to clean up their mess? You lied to us? <laughs> 
And you knew too, didn't you, Sonata Senpai? You've both just been using us. Or do you not care as long as you're the one who gets to do the fighting? I never said anything like that. I have my reasons. Think what you'd like, but it was my decision not to share the information. I'm sorry. It was never my intent to deceive you. Convincing you to join Seas was my highest priority. I know it may not be fair, but Shadows can only be defeated by Persona users. We are the only ones who can fight. That's hardly the point! I never had a choice either. It didn't matter if I wanted this power or not. I... Mitsuru, that's enough. Takebaku. It's only those in the past who are to blame. And they lost their lives as a result of what they did. We're all in the same boat here. None of us deserve the burden that's been thrust upon us. But that's... <sighs> it's been ten years since the incident in question. No one knows why those shadows suddenly returned. But now that they're here, we have the chance to find and destroy them. Do you realize what that means? What if I told you that the Twelve Shadows are the cause of everything? You're saying if we defeat them all, Tartarus and the Dark Hour will disappear? Exactly! That's what I was going to tell you earlier. See? It's good news, isn't it? Can that really be true? There's evidence to support it, and this is where our true battle begins. Our true battle... Regardless of what's happened in the past, we must fight to protect the people. The shadows are gaining strength. We can't afford to wait for them to strike first. Right. And there are still many mysteries surrounding Tartarus. For instance, why did such a gigantic structure appear in the first place? The answers must be out there somewhere. Hmm. about as usual, huh? Hmm? You. What do you want? If you're gonna ask me to go back, the answer's still no. That's not why I'm here. I was just making sure you were still around. 
That's so. We've known each other a long time. It's been almost 14 years since we met at the orphanage. You, me, and Miki. We used to run around here until the sun went down. Back then, it seemed like we had all the time in the world. Huh. You haven't changed one bit. If you want to get all sappy, go do it with your other pals. What was that? It's rare for you to think about the past. Usually, you just charge ahead like a damn fool. You've never been good at hiding shit. Everyone thinks about the past. Even me. Anyway. We finally know how to get rid of Tartarus in the Dark Hour. No shit? Yeah. The thing is... All I've cared about until now is getting stronger. Everything else came second, but yesterday... Someone made me question my reason for fighting. Your reason for fighting? Huh. It's different for everyone. But if you don't have a good one, you can always quit. That's what I did. I'm not like you. <laughs> Man, you can't believe I'm the one getting lectured here. <sighs> well... See you around. Hmm. You really haven't changed at all. Yes? Can I talk to you for a moment? Senpai? This is unusual. Please, come in! So not only do you excel at providing support during battle, you are also quite skilled at gathering information. Oh, I I'm sorry for doing that without permission. Don't worry, you're not in trouble. But I do have an important favor to ask of you. I want you to find out as much as you can about that incident ten years ago. Oh, well, very little of that was made public. I know. That's why I want you to access the Kirijo Group's database. You mean... hack into their system? Is that allowed? I'll give you my ID and password. Then you won't be held accountable. But I need to know the truth. In detail. Senpai... Of course, I'll understand if you refuse. Okay. I'll see what I can do. Are you sure? I appreciate it. Yamagishi, aren't you resentful? Regardless of my good intentions, I did drag you into this without fully explaining. I'm sure you must have at least a few complaints. Not really. Did you know my entire family is made up of doctors? My parents are the one exception. It gives them a bit of an inferiority complex. That's why they're so hard on me. I don't like being at home. But here, I'm able to do something no one else can. I have a purpose. So no, I don't have any complaints. You're right. We can't do this without you. No one could take your place. Uh, oh! Thank you. I'll see you later. So... Tartarus and the Dark Hour are on the way out, huh? <sighs> no, that's a good thing. That's what we've been fighting for. So then... Why... Damn it! Why am I so pissed? Gosh, it's hot. Even for July. Wow, can't believe we're already third years. Guess this will be the last time we'll wear these uniforms and hang out after school. <sighs> who cares? I just want to get into college and start having fun already. <laughs> I get it. My problem is me. I'm going on like fighting was my duty and all. Actually, it's just all I'm good at. Because without that, without that, I'm nothing. <laughs> so much for being a hero. I can't fight worth the shit anyway. Compared to him, at least. Damn it! 
Nothing I do is good enough. Why am I only ever right about the worst things? Am I stupid for trusting in something so blindly? Dad, I got this letter from you last spring. I must have read it a thousand times since then. To my family, ten years into the future. Tomorrow, I'll bring this letter to the opening ceremony for the Moonlight Bridge. It will be stored in a time capsule and sent to you in ten years' time, Yukari. You may be small now, but in ten years, you'll be sixteen. You'll be in high school. I know you've been sad because I have to work so late, but you always manage to greet me with a smile. I'm really proud of myself. Kirijo-san appointed me head researcher. I'll be starting on a big project soon. It feels good to receive so much recognition for my work, but I swear to you, nothing is more important to me than you and your mother. Oh, Dad. Yukari, I wonder, are you enjoying life? Do you have high hopes for the future? Do you still look towards tomorrow with excitement and wonder like you do now? No matter what happens in the next 10 years, I hope you're happy. And I hope this letter brings a smile to both you and your mother's faces. Eiichiro Takeba, March 6th, 2000. No matter what happens, huh? All I can do is believe. <laughs> I won't turn my back. I won't be like mom. Not ever. Good to see you again. How long has it been since we first met? Time passes so quickly. So tell me, how's life as a Persona user? That's good to hear. I remembered something else about the coming of the end. It all stems from something that took place many years ago. Ten years ago if I remember correctly. Oh, didn't your parents pass away about 10 years ago? A persona is like a mirror, which means a persona user can never escape their true self. But no matter what, I won't leave you because we're friends, right?
Good night. What's wrong? You all hungry or something? Mm, not really. Um, you know, it's almost summer break. Oh yeah, it is, huh? Does anyone have any plans? I wish I could go to the beach. Hot sand, cool breeze, <laughs> babes in bikinis. Man, a break like that sure would be nice. Somewhere in the south, where the water is crystal clear. But starting tomorrow, we gotta get through our exams. Oh man, this sucks. I'm sure you'll be fine, but it would be nice to go somewhere with beautiful beaches, like Okinawa. Well, it's not Okinawa, but how about Yakushima? Mr. Chairman, I didn't realize you were here. I happen to be in the area, so I thought I'd drop by and tell you my schedule for next week. Oh, Hirijoku, your father will be vacationing in Yakushima during the break. He... he will? You'll all have some time off after exams, right? Why don't you go and get a nice change of scenery? Seriously? We're gonna go on a trip? Yes! Beaches and bikinis! Beaches and bikinis! Beaches and bikinis? The sky. <laughs> How about it, Kirijoku? Well, my father is a busy man. I don't want to ruin his vacation. <laughs> Why so hesitant? No father would be upset with a daughter who came all that way to see him. You've all done a great job. 
You deserve to relax for a while. And we already know when the next operation will be, so I think it'll be fine. I don't know. Senpai, I'm begging you. <laughs> All right. I guess everyone needs a break now and then. Let's do it. The beach, huh? <laughs> I should design a special training regimen. Oh man, I can't wait! Oh, I need to go buy a swimsuit. Hey, don't worry. I got one you can borrow. Nice try. Are you going to swim too, Mr. Chairman? I'm afraid I can't. I'll turn to dust if I'm exposed to sunlight. Wait! Seriously? Don't be stupid. <laughs> Kirito Senpai, wait up! Uh, I just wanted to say sorry about the other day. I might have gotten a little carried away. Don't worry about it. In a way, it's only logical that we go to Yakushima. The chairman said that no one who was responsible for the accident survived, but there is one who did. What? There is? My father. I had no idea. Hello. I'm fine helping out with studying, but wouldn't it be easier to focus without the distraction? They say studying with others grants benefits that can't be found alone. Hey, so if we flunk the exams, are we really gonna have to stay behind? Tell me that's a joke. It's no joke. As students, studying is our top priority. Failure will result in consequences. Well, I'm not too worried about that. Not naming names here, but don't get in the way, Junpei. What happened to not naming names? Uh, I guess if the fate of my trip depends on it, I don't really have a choice. I'll show you. I'll prove just how serious I am about Yakushima. What's the matter? Something you need help with? An arithmetic sequence, huh? Do you remember the formula for calculating its sum? See, if you do this... A beautiful formula. Really, arithmeticals, my fancy? <laughs> yeah, that one's pretty good. Let me write that down. Wisecracks from Junpei are one thing. I didn't account for this. Maybe he's trying to... test our ability to concentrate? Yeah, I suppose that's not likely. Hmm... Nikutsuki sounds one up in me. I gotta think of a killer comeback. Stop getting distracted. You need to concentrate on your studies. She's right. Gotta focus. Let's keep at it. Are you struggling with memorization? Nothing beats repeating it until you know it by heart. Beats? Heart? <laughs> not bad, Kirijo-kun. What? No, that, that was not my intent with that statement. Well, if you're pulling out of the race, then I win, hands down. Kirijo-senpai, beep, beat it. Ugh, this is giving me a headache. Despite the diversions, I'd say that was productive. Keep it up so we can all go to Yakushima together.
this is Elizabeth speaking. I'm calling in regard to a recent change in Tartarus. It seems that a path that had been blocked off is now open. I thought it prudent to inform you. Well then, I wish you a safe journey. Answers my question. Whatever. A real man doesn't dwell in the past. I'm already thinking ahead to the blue skies of Yakushima. Oh yeah, that's coming up soon, huh? Are you all ready to go? Yeah, I guess I should start getting ready too. Oh, sorry, I don't sound very enthusiastic, do I? Hey. How about we stop somewhere on the way back? I don't have practice today. Sounds good. Where are we going? If you need to buy a swimsuit, I'd be happy to help. <laughs> Very funny. All right, give me a sec. I'm gonna go grab my stuff from the locker room. Oh, I'll invite Fuka too. Hey, uh, I know I've been kind of a dick lately. So, uh... Sorry about that. <laughs> All right, let's put this whole thing behind us. Cool? All right, let's get out of here. Will you? You bounce back from things so quickly, Junpei kun. Know it. Oh, hey, Sonata san's here. Don't see that every day. Ikutsuki san called me. I think he wants to talk about a new candidate. Does that mean another person is going to join? Maybe. Luca. What's wrong, Natsuki chan? Do you think you can stay after school with me for a mandatory study session? There's like no one. Oh, wait, are you about to head out for the day? Okay, then, never mind. Wait, it's all right. I'll help you. Sorry, I'll see you all back at the dorm later. I'm really surprised at how much she's changed. Ah, friendship. How beautiful. Adolescence is such a wonderful thing. So full of vibrancy. Mr. Chairman? Oh, hello. I just stopped by to pick someone up. I might as well introduce you to him now. <laughs> hello. Oh, Amatakun. What are you doing here? You know him? He doesn't leave during the break because of his circumstances. Oh, I heard about that. Something about your parents, right? It used to only be me and my mom, but she got in an accident. So now it's just me. It happened two years ago. Right now, one of his distant relatives is paying for his school expenses. But that doesn't mean he should stay at the elementary school dorm all by himself, right? So I decided to move him to your dorm, just for the summer. <laughs> to our dorm? Do you really think that's a good idea? Why, of course. He has the potential. 
Then he's the new candidate? That's right. But as you can see, he's still just an elementary school student. So it's only a possibility for now. Are you Akihiko Sonata Senpai? Uh, yeah. I've heard a lot about you. You've never lost a boxing match. Nice to meet you. Uh, yeah. Nice to meet you. Precisely. Mm -hmm. 